For those that recall, during the Bilderberg meetings, out of those meetings came information talking about what countries that they were targeting in the years to come. Of those countries was Venezuela, Iran, Sudan. Venezuela had the lights shut out. It's still in pure chaos in Venezuela. Just because the mainstream media is not talking about it doesn't mean there's nothing going on there. Now all of a sudden, a nationwide power outage hits Sudan. Completely blacking out many of the regions in the country, cascading. This is a nationwide blackout. Plunging the whole country into darkness. Now, this has affected the water resources, irrigation, obviously electricity. And they're saying that there was a failure on a power line that caused all this. And they're working to try to restore it. As for what did this, what sparked all this, there's no word. Normally, when there's an accident or something happens, they know right out the gate. They make the statement. It's known. They work to fix it. Tight lips on this one. Now, at the very end of this article, look what they paste into this. The outage comes amid months of anti-government protests. So now all of a sudden, here at the end of the story, they want to make sure that they tie in that there's been anti-government protests on the ground, just like they would like to say with Venezuela. Now, in this instance, we did not have a Marco Rubio tweeting out within minutes, talking about this blackout, of course. He's focused on Venezuela as it is, but I do not rule out anything here on this world stage because they are in the crosshairs. The leadership is, and this is just another area that I expect to see a lot more headlines coming out of in terms of things like this from here on out. I'll leave a link. I'll continue to update with more as things change. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. It's been Dabu7.